The foundations of marathon running mastery are always the same. These are things we must get absolutely right. When we get these things right, it makes everything we do effortless. When we get the foundations right, we are simply building on solid foundations from the beginning on. Let's jump right into it. Here's what we're going to cover on today's video. At the end of this week, we're going to get clear on your MHR, your marathon heart rate sweet spot. That's the main theme of this week's training program, mapping your MHR. To do that, we will do the CHR test again this week to find your critical heart rate. And we use the CHR to calculate your MHR. So today we will start with the basics of your marathon heart rate. Then we will address the anatomy of the Marathon Running Mastery Program. The core components of the program of being a 9 miler, living and training the 9 miler way. We have to understand the nature of it and how it works. Finally, today we will look at the process, the transformation that you will make. We're going to look at your current situation and the desired situation. Today we are going to get everything on paper and I will help you with that. I know that some of you already did the CHR test and know what their marathon heart rate actually is today. But we're going to do the test again and later on this week I'm going to show you exactly how the test is performed. I want you to be really sure about this. That is why I will show you in person how we do the test. You will be watching me over my shoulder. Then we translate the CHR test outcome to find your MHR. In the Marathon Running Mastery program, I'm going to explain to you how your MHR relates to the other distances too. And even to other disciplines like ultra running and triathlon. We will go into detail how to translate and adapt your MHR to the other distances and disciplines. In the Marathon Mastery program, we use the following types of MHR. In fact, they are MHR derivatives. MHR, HMHR, 10K MHR, 70.3 MHR, 140.6 MHR, Ultra MHR. Why is running the 9 mile away based on your MHR? so different from the traditional training programs? Well, in the 9 mile marathon training system, you will run all of your long training runs and your marathon, the race, at the same heart rate. Your personal marathon heart rate, MHR. This means that in the 9 mile marathon training concept, you never run long and slow training runs below the pace you will run on race day. And you will never run more than nine regular training miles. The essence is that you run your training runs at your race pace for max nine miles. As soon as you start training the nine mile away, people will ask you why. In fact, many people will. Your running friends, the coaches at your running club, concerned loved ones. How can this system work? And why would it work? I have heard these questions many times. Let me give you my two types of answers. The first way is to just answer the question. One, because Marlies Court found that training max nine miles on your personal race pace is way more efficient and effective than endless training runs below your race pace. And the length of nine mile at race pace twice per week is adding enough strength in your joints, your filaments and your muscles to be able to withstand the wear and tear of the full marathon distance on race day. Two, because the risk that you accumulate fatigue or get injured is so much lower this way with all the benefits from not getting tired and worn out. Three, because today 
over 2,500 runners who follow this training method all have experienced unbelievable results. More than 95% of all 9 milers who have completed their marathon, finished happy and healthy, felt strong at the final miles, and finished close to their predicted finish times. Then many will bring up something about 9 miler finish times. That this method is only for the slowest runners. But you know what? Typical 9 miler finish times are exactly at the average of all marathon finishers worldwide. Around 4.12 for men and 4.18 for women. Then there is another way of answering this question. The second way. This is somewhat more aggressive way. Here it is. Well, have you ever thought about how the essence of the traditional way of marathon training, the so-called long and slow training run, could ever help you to run your marathon at a higher pace? If you look at the classic concept from this point of view, it is a recipe for disaster. Because one, you're not training your body to run at race pace, and two, you're still not training your body to cope with the rude impacts of the final miles. In the 9 mile marathon training concept, both arguments are covered. You are always running at race pace and together with the interval speed work, strength training, MTF, manageable technique under fatigue and ESS, the energy supply switch, you are 100% prepared and fully geared to withstand the tortures of the final miles. Now let's have a deeper look into the anatomy of the Marathon Running Mastery Program. This week, week one, we address the road that lies ahead, the fundamentals we need to switch to the new model. Towards the end of week one, we focus on your MHR and everything related to that. The main goal of this week is to be crystal clear on MHR, your personal MHR, the MHR derivatives and all MHR implications, mapping your MHR. In week two, it's action time, sine qua non. We will learn how to implement all basic 9 mile components, strength training, speed work, stretching, running technique. We will learn the anatomy of the three basic 9 mile training programs, hold mode, coast mode, and race mode. And how AFA, the 9 mile concept of accumulated fatigue avoidance, is merged in each of the three basic training programs. In week three, we're going to make the metabolic switch, ESS, the energy supply switch. How to make the transition from being sugar addicted to fat adapted. I will explain the why and the how. And I will show you three steps on how to get there, on how to implement. In week four, we will address your running technique, the nine miler way. Manageable running technique under fatigue. This is such a powerful nine miler concept. And again, it is so not understood by the traditional training coaches. I will explain to you and show you why it is so important to not focus on being a heel striker or a front foot lander, a glider or a gazelle. Another nine mile marathon specific vision, which is totally different from what 99% of all coaches are telling us today. Then in week five, will be the start of the first 9 mile inner game module. We will focus on discovering your natural qualities and learn what you can do with it once you know. While you sometimes feel you have to fight, while another time it feels like everything goes in autopilot. This module will have a huge impact on your running life, on your running life and on your work, your family, and social life as well. In week six, we will address the monkey mind. We will learn to discover, 
to handle and how to tame the monkey mind. I will teach you strategies how to do this, how to switch off the noise, and then how you can discover that silent little voice whispering in your ear, telling you the things that you really need. And then I will teach you how your running will benefit from it, how your life will benefit from it. In week seven, we address one of the most underestimated concepts of running the nine mile away, the power of asymmetrical breathing. We will talk about the three stage rocket concept, breathing efficiency, and how you can implement the most powerful breathing pattern. Learning this, understanding this will have a huge impact on your running performance. In week eight, I'm going to teach you goal setting the nine mile away. I have created a system I call the nine mile mastermind. In week six, you'll learn about the monkey mind and how to be able to discover that little silent voice. In this week eight module, I'm going to teach you how to use this little voice and how you can use these new insights to your benefit. The result is a personal plan, a roadmap, clear, repeatable, achievable, ambitious at the same time. Then in week nine, everything comes together. We will know when it's time, define the NIMO mindset, by then we know how to set goals, make plans. So that's what we do. The final nine week marathon mastery output, your 12 month master plan, your personal running roadmap, attractive, inspiring, achievable. Under resources below this video, you will find a nine week pinup with an abstract of the full nine weeks. I want you to download it, print it out and put it on your wall. Now let's have a look at the third objective for today, the transformation that you will make. We're going to be specific about your current situation and your desired situation. Everyone has a current situation. It is what you are today. It's not what you have been. It's not what you will be. It is what you are right now. A realistic view, confronting maybe, but the main thing is that you want to know what your current situation is right now. It's the you right now, today, at this moment, in this situation, at this time. It is the way you are running today, the way you are training, living, the way how you feel, your health, your fitness, your other hobbies the things that make you happy, your social life with family and friends, your work life, your professional life. That's your current situation. Then your desired situation is what you want, where you want to be. Fast forward one year from now, after you have completed the nine weeks marathon running mastery program. And after 10 more months living and training the nine mile away from there, after this one year experience with me and Bas, where will you be? Now complete this little homework section with a number of questions. You can find the questions under resources below this video. When you click on the resources link, you will open the document in Google Docs. Then you will choose make a copy. When you have answered all the questions, you do two things. One, store the file on your computer under a new folder you will call Marathon Running Mastery. Name your file Transformation Worksheet Week 1, Module 2. Two, email the file to me as attachment. You can use my personal email address, 9milemarlies at the 9milemarathon.com. I will review each submission individually and thoroughly. So you have to go all in on your responses, be precise and honest when I'm asking for specifics, numbers and data. Your today's answers are the starting point. 
you will use your answers as a reference through the full nine weeks program. You will reread and reiterate your answers many times. You will make changes, iterations over and over again. That's no problem. That's in fact exactly what you must do. You will save each and every iteration under a new file name with Transformation Worksheet version 1, v2, v3, etc. And you will send each iteration to me to review and store for you as well. First, we will have a look at the six questions I'm going to ask you today. Question number one. What and when was your best running experience ever and why? It doesn't have to be a marathon. Please describe in detail. Question number two. What is the number one reason for you to apply to the Marathon Running Mastery Program? Question number three. Is there anything holding you back from going flat out with this program? Question number four. What do you feel is your biggest obstacle to hitting your marathon running goals today? Question number five. What is the one thing you must absolutely take from the Marathon Running Mastery Program that if you were to achieve or overcome this after nine weeks, the program would be perfect for you? Question number six. What is the one goal you want to achieve in one or two years from now that if you would realize this, your life would be perfect. Now here's the challenge. The above questions may look simple, but I want you to formulate each of your answers from three different angles. You can pick those three angles from a list of five. Mental, intellectual, emotional, spiritual, body, physical, family, friends, social, career, professional, which means each of the six questions will have three answers. Let me give you examples. Look at question number one. What was your best running experience ever? You will have three answers to that same question. If you answer the question from a physical perspective, your answer could be one, a specific training run you did because you felt totally fit, strong and energetic. When you answer the same question from an emotional, spiritual point of view, your answer could be two, a race you ran at a very beautiful place, you felt absolutely happy. When you would answer from a mental, intellectual perspective, your answer could be, for instance, three, another race you did where everything went according to plan, you kept your MHR very well until the end, and you finished very close to your predicted finish time. Let me give you another example. Question three, about what may be holding you back from going flat out. If you look at it from a physical angle, your answer could be an injury. From a career professional perspective, your answer could be that you have limited time or your work schedule may be getting in the way. Your answer to the same question from a mental, intellectual point of view, could be that you have the tendency to overthinking, or your friends are skeptical and they are asking nasty questions you can't answer yet. Finally, an answer from an emotional point of view. Maybe you think, with all the running you do, you're claiming too much me time. Your family members are complaining about the time you already spent on running. And now you're even going to do an intensive training course with a lot of personal involvement and coaching. The answers you will give us are very important to us. You may have noticed that I've asked some of these questions before, after you have signed up for the program via email. So you might be thinking, why do I need to do this again? I believe it's crucial to really understand the difference between where you are right now and where you want to be. The gap you have to jump over. The gasm you have to cross. The gap is the cause of somebody's pain, frustration, desire, because they want to get there. 
You want to evolve. You want to grow. You want to be in your desired situation. In the Marathon Mastery Program, I will help you go from your current situation to the desired situation. This is everything. The more times you write it down, the better your understanding is going to be. The clearer your understanding is going to be. That's why I repeat these things so often. In the 9 mile marathon, I wrote, most runners will tell you what 9 milers are doing is impossible. Yet, it's happening every day. 9 milers are the rebels, the crazy ones, the round packs in the square holes. Not fond of the traditional running rules. They push things forward, wanting to have it all. Living that big, busy life with work, family and friends at the same time. Achieve, perform, enjoy, feel strong, finish their marathon strong, maybe faster than they ever thought possible. I call this a new breed of marathon runners. Running the nine mile away is new. And yes, it's disruptive. It is breaking with everything traditional coaches will tell you today. Today, we have a choice. I have lived and tried both worlds. As a busy mom, marathon runner and business owner, my life and my happiness are completely dependent on my ability to free up time to get things done, to stay fit and healthy to stay focused when family and friends want me to be there, to get enough sleep, keep my energy levels high. The Naimo Marathon training system makes it easier for me to run marathon as an integrated part of my life. So for me, personally, that choice is made. There is no way back. I am a Naimo I am part of this new breed of marathon runners and I love it. In this video, there's quite a lot of work to do, even if you have already answered the questions from the emails before. There's quite a lot of action to take and to complete the action items section. In the weekly pull down menu under action items, you will also find a link to download today's nine week pinup and to download the worksheet with the six questions you have to answer. Now that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.